is going to have a huge impact on the process. So what did you do from the process point of view to make all this work and to sustain it? We did, uh, we did quite a bit of changes in our processes. I would like to highlight one specific area because I believe the, it ties into not just process change, but it ties into the cultural shift we push through our organization. Uh, in the past, uh, each organization within technology were optimizing for their own metrics. Meaning, you have a data center team were optimizing for power, space, cooling, brand design. They have their own metrics. You have a server technology team who are optimizing for CPU, compute, and all their metrics are centered around transaction per second. And then another example where you have a network team who is optimizing for purely bandwidth and peering technology and so forth. What we did is we normalized all these metrics and we established a one common metric across all our groups. And that metric is really centered on the efficiency on the power and the energy in our data center. Because let's face it, uh, it's all about power. It's all about how efficient you want your infrastructure. And as I mentioned earlier, we don't differentiate between the data center and the infrastructure that lives inside of our data center. In fact, the server in our environment is our data center. And the data center itself, it's our failure domain. That's the model we operate under. Now, once we, we went and established this, this is a major process shift where we say now we have a common metrics. So transaction per second is no longer our primary metrics when you evaluate a new technology, when you evaluate a new hardware. It's, it's really centered around uh, you know, power, it's centered around the transaction per watt, it's centered around dollar per watt. And in our case, because listing is a key business metric, it's listing per watt. And as we go through this, at the end of the presentation, we could show you from a sustainability perspective how the focus on the common metrics help us to actually, help us to get to do more with less. So now, we could not just go and change metrics. Metrics drives behavior, therefore, you need to change the culture. And, and we focus on also changing culture. This is not a simple mining. These principles here, you can apply them to different areas, but they have to work all together to get to the optimal result at the end. Uh, from a cultural perspective, it was, it was a bit challenging and continued to be a challenge for us. You are never done changing culture. In fact, in this dynamic, it's a wheel that continues just like innovation. You've got to continue to turn it and continue to influence your culture to be agile, to be adaptive to changes around you. One thing we did uh, and to help us start shifting and changing the culture is we established clear, measurable goals. Uh, and we over communicated these goals for every opportunity we had around. It's all hands, staff, one-on-one, -on -one, skip level one-on-one, -on -one, you name it. And we made sure our team understood the why and the how. And most important, you want to make sure your team, they don't even they only get it in their head. They have to get it in their heart. They have to be passionate about what you are trying to solve, what you want to do. And then we drove that change top down and bottom up. Culture change does not work if you drive it from one direction only. So you want to make sure your culture is happening grassroots also. So we drove it bottom up so it can meet with each other and we'll continue to work through it. This is, this is a, one of, by far one of the most challenging tasks any organization can go through is how to change the culture. Because you are constantly dealing with different groups, different mentality, different approach, and you try to get everyone to understand your common goal and get everyone to understand understand it again in their heart that this is what we need to do and to get passionate. Just, just to follow up on that, because I've been through a lot of these cultural